Hi. Now, we've got part C here of this question. And as you can see, it's quite cluttered. There's not a lot I can do if I'm trying to keep this on the one screen. But uh, at this point, we now need to use the information up the top here. So it's the first time actually in this question that really we need to be able to work with the information given. So I'm just going to read through this just in case you can't see it. And what we've got here then is that Kate crosses a road of a constant width 7 metres in order to take a photograph of a marathon runner, John, approaching at 3 metres per second. And Kate is 24 metres ahead of John when she starts to cross the road from the fixed point A. And John passes her as she reaches the other side of the road at a variable point B, as shown. And Kate's speed is V metres per second, and she moves in a straight line which makes an angle of theta. Theta being between 0 and 150 degrees, with the edge of the road as shown. Now, in the previous part, part B, we worked with this formula here, where we were able to assume that V was given by this formula. And we use part A of the question in order to find the minimum value of V. And we found that answer to be 21 25ths. We're now told then that given that Kate's speed has the value found in part B, in other words 21 25ths, we've now got to find the distance AB for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment then to pause the video. And when you come back, what I'll do is I'll clear the screen a bit and I'll take you slowly through the work solution or you might want to fast forward. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, all we need to do essentially is substitute 21 25ths in for V and I'm going to write the denominator as 25 cos theta minus 73.74 degrees in place of what we've got here and solve the equation knowing that theta lies between 0 and 150 degrees. So really I don't need too much now of this information. So what I'll do is I'll remove this and give ourselves some space. Now we know that we had to use the fa fact that V was a minimum value that we found in part B and that value was 21 over 25. And this minimum value occurred when we made the denominator a maximum value. That was when we had V equaling 21 divided by r cos of theta minus alpha and in part a we saw that that was 25 times the cosine of theta minus 73.74 degrees and to get this minimum value we made the cosine of theta minus 73.74 a maximum value we made it 1 so this is our starting point really for this question. We can just say that this all occurs when the cosine of theta minus 73.74 degrees equals 1. And that means that this angle here has to be 0 degrees. The cosine of 0 degrees gives us 1. So therefore we've got theta minus 73.74 must be equal to 0 degrees. So if we add 73.74 degrees to both sides we end up with theta equaling 73.74 degrees. But we are asked to work out the distance AB. 
And so now I can just use basic trigonometry here because I can work off this triangle in here. Let's just mark it in. Okay, that triangle there. I can see we know this angle here. We've got the opposite side. I just want the hypotenuse. And that comes from using sine, sine of an angle. In this case, it's sine of the angle theta, 73.74 degrees, which equals the opposite side, 7, divided by the hypotenuse, which is AB. And rearranging this for AB, if I times both sides by AB, I get AB sine 73.74 equals 7. And then if I divide both sides by the sine of 73.74, I get that AB equals 7 then divided by the sine of 73.74 degrees. And if you work this out, you end up with 7.29 one six and so on which rounded to say two decimal places or three signal figures is going to be 7.29 meters okay to two decimal places haven't really got much room to squeeze that in i'll just put 2dp there hope you can see that okay